Hey everyone, we're live for NRT Live. Uh, my name's Grace Chavez. I'm the assistant news editor for NearLeastToday.com and I also manage the Instagram page here. Um, and in case you don't know what NRT Live is, every month I'm going live with a Christian artist to talk about their new music. And it's really just a fun time uh, for fans to get to know some of their favorite artists. Um, this month I'm going to be talking to Hannah Kerr about her deluxe Christmas album, Christmas Eve in Bethlehem. And I'm super excited to have her on. And if you've been watching this for any amount of time, you know I don't normally have lights behind me. Um, I'm wearing an ugly Christmas sweater because apparently today is National Ugly Christmas Sweater Day. I just found that out. So it works. <laughs> and I'll just wait for Hannah Kerr to jump on here and we'll jump into this. Thanks everyone for coming on here. And if you have any questions about uh, during the live stream, just comment them down below and we'll try and get to as many as we can. Once Hannah jumps on here, then we'll get started. In the meantime though, comment down below your favorite Christmas tradition and I wanna see what you guys say. I'm gonna be talking with her about that, so. All right, Hannah's in here, so I'm gonna add her to the live stream. Hey, hello. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Thanks. Thanks so, so much for having me. Yeah, of course. Just gonna be a quick fifteen minute or so live stream and gonna Love get to it. know you and your music. So, awesome. Just first, uh, tell us how you got started in music and tell us about yourself. Yeah. So I am originally from Buffalo, New York. Um, I grew up there and lived there until I was about thirteen. Um, and then I moved to Nashville and I got involved with the worship team at my church. Mm -hmm. um, and so I kind of just started doing music that way and leading worship and writing worship songs. Um, and then I, I ended up getting connected with a producer whose name is Mark Miller. Mm -hmm. um, he produces Casting Crowns. So I was a huge Casting Crowns fan growing up. Um, and so I got connected with him and he mm -hmm. helped me record some of my songs. And um, yeah, that's kind of how it all happened. Just me singing at church and alone in my room, similar to this, um, and just like <laughs> learning to write Christmas or Christmas. Yeah. Christian songs, <laughs> um, and, and worship songs. So mm -hmm. yeah, that's how it all began. Awesome. That's so cool. And then you recently released the deluxe version of your album, Christmas Eve in Bethlehem. What's the inspiration behind that project as a whole? Yeah. So I have always loved Christmas music. It's been some of my absolute favorite to listen to. I do mm -hmm. listen all year round. I'm one of those people. <laughs> um, and so I wanted to write a Christmas album. I wanted to make one um, that kind of combined my favorite styles to listen to at Christmas. So mm -hmm. it's pretty much half classic jazz, like a jazz quartet. It's so fun and mm -hmm. then half um just regular ccm christmas carols um and then some songs that i had written and so the original edition came out two years ago and um that just featured a bunch of songs that people knew and then two original songs mm -hmm. and then um for this year 2020 obviously it goes without saying has just been a really difficult year mm -hmm. and so i wanted to release more songs um kind of release a deluxe edition of the album um, to give people hope and to write a couple more songs, um, really to just kind of make it more complete. Mm -hmm. um, and so it has five new songs on it. There are three originals and two covers. Um, and I just really think it completed the whole album and um, mm -hmm. it just feels feels like a full Christmas hug now. And that's <laughs> just what I really wanted. So nice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was listening to that before and it's really good. So you Thank did a great you. job with that. Thanks. And then um, you got to collaborate with Cochran and Company for the song Here to Stay. What was that mm -hmm. like? So fun. I am such a big fan of Cochran mm -hmm. and Company. Um, I have been a big fan of his since he started releasing music. When I heard his song Grave, I mm -hmm. just was like, this is one of the best songs I've ever heard in my life. Um, and mm -hmm. so I got to write that song with him over Zoom. Isn't that That's just cool. the most 2020 <laughs> thing you've ever heard? For sure. um, <laughs> yeah, but we wrote it together on Zoom. And um, it just really was one of those songs that came out super quickly. Like we just wrote it. And mm -hmm. I think it was like an hour. And that's really fast wow. for usual songwriting. 
Mm -hmm. Um, And so we wrote it together and we kind of like, as we were writing it, I was kind of thinking it'd be cool if Michael sang with me on this. Mm -hmm. Um, It just kind of sounds like his style. And he Mm -hmm. came up with the, a lot of the like piano parts and um, just really felt like it would lend itself to a duet. And so Mm -hmm. right after the write, I texted him and I was like, Hey, would you be interested at all? in just like, singing on this and Mm -hmm. um he immediately said yes and so we like really rushed to uh get his voice on it and make Mm -hmm. sure everything was good for the album to come out but anyways yeah it was super fun and um I'm really happy with how it turned out cool and then what's your personal favorite song off of Christmas Eve in Bethlehem my personal favorite song it's like asking me to choose a favorite kid that is so (laughs) hard um Let's see. I think my favorite song right now in this season, in this moment, is probably Emmanuel. Mm -hmm. Um, It's a song that I wrote with two of my songwriting heroes, Andy Gullihorn and Jill Phillips. And um, I got to sing it at church last Sunday Mm -hmm. and just was reminded again um, how much I need to hear that Emmanuel is God with us, um, Mm -hmm. that he understands everything that we're walking through. Yeah, it's just this has been a really hard year in a lot of ways. Mm -hmm. And I think that it's comforting to know that the God of the universe has been through hard things, too, and understands what's that what that's like. Um, Mm -hmm. And so that's kind of what that song talks about. And so I've been, yeah, just singing that more this year and Mm -hmm. finding myself um, just comforted by that God. So, yeah, I think right now that's my favorite. But ask Mm -hmm. me tomorrow and it will be different. (laughs) (laughs) I'm sure. Yeah. (laughs) Uh, And then what's your favorite holiday tradition? Oh, man. Anything with food. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, My family at Christmas, the two big things are music and food. So Mm -hmm. we're singing together always. Um, And so we love to, like, sing Christmas carols together and bring out the guitar and just play music together. Mm -hmm. Um, But we also make this like breakfast food is called monkey bread and it's basically like biscuits with brown sugar Mm -hmm. and butter and I mean it's just a gift to this Mm -hmm. world basically (laughs) um and so we make that on Christmas Eve and then Mm -hmm. um on Christmas morning we bake it and it's just like this really sweet thing that we only have at Christmas together Mm -hmm. so um that's one of my favorite things and then this year my husband Jason and I um we just got married eight months ago crazy congrats Thank you. Um, Mm -hmm. We started a tradition this year of doing an advent calendar together. Mm -hmm. So it starts on December 1st and um, each day we like wrote each other a little note um, and then we just open that every day. So that's been kind of fun. Just coming down to Christmas together and Mm -hmm. um, yeah, but we don't know what other traditions we're going to start. It feels like a daunting task to be like, (laughs) what are Christmas is going to look like for the rest Mm -hmm. of our lives? (laughs) But Yeah. yeah, it's been fun. Mm-hmm. I'm sure just will just keep coming up you know yeah <laughs> what about you what are your favorite Christmas traditions um I always like every morning uh every Christmas morning we always uh open presents together and uh read Luke chapter two so cool um, that's always my favorite and before all the craziness before anybody comes over we always take that time to do that together as a family yeah that's so mm-hmm. cool I love that mm-hmm. I love that And then uh, speaking of which, what are your plans for Christmas this year? So this Christmas is a little bit different than other Christmases Mm -hmm. um, for many reasons. One, because um, my brother and I both got married this year. And so Mm -hmm. we have two new family members um, from marriage. But then our Mm -hmm. middle brother had a baby this year. And so we have three new family members that are going to be at our Christmas celebration Um, and so I'm going to be with my side of the family, um, for Christmas day. And then we'll be with Mm -hmm. my husband's family after Christmas. Um, so we're just seeing our fam and being Mm -hmm. really safe. We haven't like seen people in forever just to make sure Mm -hmm. that, you know, we're not going to give anything to our family or, you know, past COVID. So, um, Mm -hmm. and my family all lives here. We're just, you know, all in Nashville. So, Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's our plans for Christmas, but I'm really looking forward to it and just good family time. You know, it's mm-hmm. been a crazy year, so I think clinging to the yeah. people we love is so important. Mm-hmm. Sounds like fun. Yeah. yeah. I have some quick rapid fire Christmas questions for you oh, if you're ready love for that. It. Hit me. Okay. <laughs> uh, favorite Christmas movie? Oh, I have to say The Grinch. Mm-hmm. So I've good. actually never seen that before. <gasps> 
Girl. I know, it's shocking. You better watch it. This is the year. 2020 is the year to watch The Grinch. <laughs> mm-hmm. I feel like I've seen clips of it before, but I don't think I've ever sat through and watched the whole thing. So I'll it's, have to check it's it out. a good one. Yeah, it's a classic. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then favorite holiday treat. What kind of desserts do you like? Hmm. Any kind of Christmas cookie is my favorite. Mm-hmm. My mom makes the like peanut butter cookies with the Hershey Kiss in the middle. Oh, nice. Um, and those are those are my favorite. They're so good. Nice. <laughs> and then, big question: artificial tree or fake tree? I okay, mean, artificial so tree or real tree? I love the smell of real trees, but growing up, my brother Michael was allergic to them, and so. We had no choice but to have a fake tree every mm-hmm. year. And so I've never actually had a real Christmas tree my whole life. Yeah. Um, and so Jason and I, for Christmas this year in our apartment, um, we just got a fake tree. It's like mm-hmm. a really small, like Charlie Brown kind of <laughs> Christmas tree, but it's mm-hmm. it's really sweet. And so maybe we'll get a real one someday because I like the idea of that, but mm-hmm. fake. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I have uh, horrible allergies, so I probably could not do a real tree. <laughs> yeah. Listen, girl, I feel that, okay? Mm-hmm. That was my whole life. <laughs> <laughs> and then turkey or ham on Christmas? My family does ham on Christmas. Mm-hmm. Um, turkey, we just do a th- at Thanksgiving. And honestly, I'm thankful for it. I feel like yeah. that would be a lot of turkey in a small, oh, yeah. you know, span of time. So, mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good to mix it up. And yeah, then, for uh, sure. Favorite Christmas song in general? In general, I have to say Oh Holy Night, probably. Mm-hmm. Um, good one. I've always loved that song. Just so mm-hmm. sweet. Yeah. yeah. And this is not a rapid fire question, but how can we be praying for you? Oh, that's a great question. Um, I think right now, if you could just be praying for my family, um, it has been 2020 has been hard for all of us mm-hmm. and, um, we're clinging to each other and clinging to the Lord. But, um, I think just be praying for my family. Um, and then also kind of a fun prayer request is that my husband Jason and I um just got approved to buy a house and so awesome. we're we're praying through um where we're gonna move and where God wants mm-hmm. us to live and um what house he has for us to move into so um awesome. that's kind of an exciting thing but mm-hmm. something that we're definitely praying for right now that's really exciting and I'll be praying about that and I'm sure our Thanks. staff at New Release today will be too so thank you so much that is, yeah that really means a lot to me thank you mm-hmm. well it was so great having you on and We'll have to stay in touch. Yes, absolutely. Thanks so much for having me. Yeah, of course. Have a good night. Yeah, you too. And Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. (laughs) Bye. Well, it was so great having Hannah on. And next month, I'm going to be having on my friend, uh, Grace Graber. She's an independent artist. And she's going to be joining us next month on New Year's Day. So keep an eye out on our social media pages. And we'll keep you all posted on that. Uh, Thank you so much for joining us, and I guess I'll see you all next year. Have a great night. Bye, guys.